I am from Asbury Park, New Jersey. I grew up in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. I think I came to Asbury Park the first time. It was 16 years ago. Friends were living here and they had said, oh, well, have you been to Asbury Park? And I'm like, what's that? And they're like, oh, just come. I'll never forget driving down Asbury Avenue thinking like, why? Why did they ask me to come here? And the minute that I got to the boardwalk, it became pretty evident that they knew that I would love the architecture. All around us in New Jersey, it's, it seems very traditionally beachy. And I loved that this was like an urban feel in a beach community. I started a gallery in 2006. A friend of mine that I met said, oh, I wanna open a gallery. And so I was like, let's open a gallery. How hard could it be? So we had a gallery in a second floor walk up. It was called Pry Baby Gallery. We probably did a year's worth of show before we realized that out out our window, we could see parlor gallery. I called Pat Scavino, who was a friend who owned the building. That turned into what is now parlor gallery. The Wooden Walls project is currently in its fourth year and we started in 2015. The actual idea of the Wooden Walls was inspired by walls that were literally wooden walls put up on some of our historic buildings. After Hurricane Sandy, you have to brace things that might have become loose until the engineers could come and check. There was all this sadness in the air and I was like, this is the perfect time for our mural project. And I think the first year we had 10 artists come to Asbury Park and create site specific pieces for the boardwalk. I gave myself the curatorial sort of exercise of these people all have to have six degrees of separation to Asbury Park. And that worked, I think, successfully. The first year was very special because it was like, you just don't know what you're doing. And then when you make it happen, you're like, I did it, you know? I really liked the idea that people that wouldn't necessarily go into galleries could have this experience that I have all the time that, you know, I. I've grown up with. When people say to me, I'm not an art person, I like to prove them wrong. That same person's like, ah, I'm sorry I've been to your gallery, I'm not an art person. I see them at the wooden walls, looking at the murals, taking pictures in front of the murals, engaging, bringing friends to the murals. And I think that that's really important for a town that's finding its identity again. My hope for the wooden walls is that people really get a sense of like what a creative town is. I do know that I'd love to put as many women into the wooden walls as possible. Women are badass and I probably secretly want to be them all. They're driving these things and they're attacking a wall with spray paint and I, I just, it's such an amazing thing to watch and be witness to. When I found out that Mammoth Arts was giving me the Arts Ambassador Award, I first initially thought, are they sure they want to give it to me? It's humbling to get an award for a whole community of people that helped get me to where I'm at. I have to say I'm, I'm super proud to be able to work with Mammoth Arts in this capacity, especially when you think you can't get something done and you can reach out to them and they could say, oh, we've been there, we got this. It's a very surreal experience and it's been super humbling and I'm super grateful for the support of Mammoth Arts and my arts community at large.